Okay, guys, so I had to move the uh, capturing over to uh, Fraps because the quality would not function. I cannot stream OBS and use OBS as an example at the same time. So, as I was saying, with the, uh, with the amplification distributor, you could take those extra ports and move the quality or move the, uh, move the audio or video over to other sources to create, like, um, uh, more speakers or to move the audio over to, uh, to places like your desktop microphone which I will go into a little detail after we move over the uh, move over the basics. So, after you have your EasyCap 100% plugged in, drivers installed, and you have your distributor plugged in, all functioning well and good, we are going to move over to the settings of OBS. Now you'll notice that you have a blank screen with scenes and sources and all these other buttons and jibber jabber that makes absolutely no sense. So I'll go through and explain the settings to help you get a little bit of an idea how to work with OBS because it's actually not that difficult of a program once you get over the initial curve. So first you have your general which has language, duh, and your setting profile. Setting profile is essentially where you can create new scenes and these scenes can be switched over depending on what you're doing. So for example, I have a Smash Bros scene, the scene I use for the tutorial, and this example scene with nothing in it. If I go in and change the name to say, I don't know, tutorial or something, tutorial, SNL, whatever, um, you can either rename the current scene that you created, which will start out as untitled, or click add to create a new one. Now let's pretend I didn't do that and change it back. And here we have example, Smash Bros, title theme, and tutorial. So we have our themes here and we can easily switch between them and we can remove them or we can do whatever we want to in this settings profile. Notification icon basically means that uh, OBS will be moved to the will uh, have messages that will pop up in the notification. I really don't care about this since I like having the HUD to control everything going on, but if you're gaming on the computer with a different type of capture card, this might be helpful to you. Encoding is basically how OBS takes the raw files that are being distributed to the program, compress it through the CPU, and send it off to either the internet or to your computer. Now, these settings you don't really need to know, but this one specific is pretty important. The max bitrate is essentially the um, amount of quality that is being put through uh, per second. How much, how many pixels, the pixel density, yada yada yada, how good it looks is essentially it. Now, in order to find this number, let's go to the um, to speedtest.net. Once you once you have uh, once you have your um, your uh, speed test confirmed, then you're going to take your uh, current file or your current upload speed, and you're going to divide that by a thousand. So let's say let's see if this works. I don't know if I can get the calculator program to work. Ah oh, shoot. Okay, so let's see. Say you had a uh, six megabyte per second upload speed on your computer, you would take that and multiply it by a thousand. That number would be equal to six thousand. Now take that number and divide it by two, and that is the maximum amount of kilobytes per second that is recommended to be used. People say about eighty to seventy percent, but I say fifty because it assures that the stream will be not only high quality, but it will also be stable. Because if you increase it too much, then the stream will stutter and will lag, and the quality will be too high for most viewers. So I recommend that most people don't go over 50% of their current upload bandwidth. So this number is uh, 3100, which is half as much as my current upload speed, which is 6.2 megabytes a second. So. Now that you have your bitrate, 
Um, let's talk about these couple of things. So CBR is essentially when it takes the video feed and keeps the quality consistent. It doesn't change around depending on what's being seen on the screen. This is really important to keep on if you're trying to stream to Twitch or to, or to uh, other programs like Ustream or whatever. Uh, keep CBR on. Do not turn it off unless the stream host tells otherwise. CBR padding is basically, it just, it, it just uh, increases the amount of CBR. It's nothing special. Buffer size should be the same as max bitrate unless your uh, film has a lot of movement, but usually you don't need to mess with this. Audio encoding is different for other people with different cards, but usually you'll have 44.1 kilohertz stereo, and the bitrate can be increased depending on your max bitrate. If it's more, if your max bitrate is low, keep the audio quality low, and if it's high, keep it high, yada yada, etc., etc. I have it the highest quality because I want my stream to sound good. Broadcast setting is essentially um, where you go to set up your uh, to set up your Twitch stream or your U U Live or whatever else you want to do. So there are two modes that you can use: live stream and file output. Live stream is where you set up all of the required information in order to start streaming from your Twitch from uh, from Twitch or any other site. Um, File output is when it removes the stream factor altogether and simply sends a file to your um, to your desktop or to wherever you want to save it. And I saved these files here for this tutorial. Now you can name the file, and this is what it'll be named every time that it streams. It'll be saved as an MP4 or FLV. I recommend MP4 because it's a more universal file type, but do whatever you feel is best. These are hotkeys, so in case you're on the go and want to stream consistently without having to look at the OBS uh, board, then just click that and it'll get it done. For live stream, though, I'll talk more about this uh, in an, I'll talk about talk more about this after we get the initial get get it initially set up with OBS, the uh, OEM device. So let's just set it on file output. Find a path on your desktop or something that you think you'll want to save your file as, and move on to the next step. Next, you don't need to mess with this, but in case you have multiple uh, graphics card in your computer, you can set which one you want to use. Uh, the base resolution uh, is fine, just leave it as it is, but resolution downscale is very important if you have a lower end computer. Resolution downscale basically takes your current resolution and scales it down to a more acceptable level for streams and for recording and for such. This is important if you're getting a lot of lag, but if your um, default resolution is higher than 1280 by 720 I recommend turning it down to this because this is the base resolution where it will be most functional with with uh, Twitch and uh